technologies I mainly use in my teaching are social media tools such as Facebook and Twitter. I also make use of podcasts. I have um, a personal online paperly newspaper and I also have a blog as well. Um, I use these tools in a variety of ways. Firstly, I use them as a tool to supplement um, my teaching in the sense that I deploy um, a lot of class materials through um, uh, podcasts in terms of additional lecture content. Then in terms of the way I use my blog, I use that to kind of comment on current relevant stories that are in the news and that kind of ties in with the way I use Twitter and Facebook as well. Basically I believe it's important to kind of show students the real world implications of the theories we're discussing in classroom and so I can use those social media platforms to alert them to current issues and stories in the press that have um, a relevant link to those theories. I believe technology can have a very positive impact on the student learning experience. Uh, I for one have discovered that by encouraging students to think more critically about the theoretical underpinnings of major issues and stories in the news, it's then led them to kind of engage in the sort of discussion that I'm involved in by posting back materials that they believe would be of relevance to me to share with the rest of the class and also kind of using facilities like Twitter and Facebook and my blog comment function to kind of offer their views about the issues involved in those stories and also the kind of question about how material we've covered in lectures can be related back to those particular stories. It's a very, very exciting um, and uh, encouraging um, set of affairs. There is no doubt that the biggest challenge for me is just the sheer amount of time taken in terms of developing an online presence to begin with and keeping it up. Um, certainly trying to have a blog, a Facebook site, a Twitter feed and um, an online newspaper on the go all the time, plus things like discussion boards through the virtual learning environment that we have at the university is a massive demand of my time. Um, however, thankfully, as a result of trying to encourage students to take more of an ownership over finding the sort of materials that I'm interested in disseminating, that makes my job uh, that much easier. Hopefully I've sold you on the benefits of using learning technologies to enhance your teaching practice. But now it's your turn, so why don't you offer us your views on how learning technologies have or could enhance your teaching practice.